You need to stop trying to survive medical school. Alright guys, what is going on? Lex here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This video, we're going to talk about why you need to get out of the survival mode of just surviving medical school and tips on how to get past it and why it's important to make sure you make these uh, a habit in your medical school career. So let's first talk about why you need to get out of survival mode. We use this term a lot, right? I just need to survive medical school. I need to survive anatomy. I just need to survive and get past this test. We're always trying to get to the next thing um, and we're trying to get to the next finish line. But honestly, guys, there is no finish line in medicine at all, right? You, there's always going to be another test, another rotation, another reason you're going to be stressed. And you may tell yourself to make yourself feel a little bit better that I just need to get past this obstacle and I'll be fine. But you're gonna be continuing to tell yourself if you just use that survival mode. And that's where burnout arises, where you keep having to tell yourself, I just need to survive. And every time your motivation of saying that and realizing that it's, it's a never ending cycle is going to burn you out. Um, it's gonna discourage you. So I'm gonna give you three things that you can do on your medical journey to get out of the survival mindset. And I think this is really what's helped me um, enjoy my four years of medical school without really feeling burnt out. I've enjoyed the experience and I know that every hurdle is part of the journey, but I still have a good picture. Use these three tips, especially if you're a student who is going through the early years of medical school and is wondering like, I don't know if I really can do this. And I totally get that sentiment. It, it arises in every single person, but I think if you use these three strategies, you'll really be able to use a different perspective on approaching medical school and everything will become a lot less stressful. So number one, you need to look at everything as, as if it's a lesson. Um, sometimes we're trying to speed past things because there's something more important um, that we wanna get through. You're trying to speed through assignments because you need to study for an exam. You're trying to get past a rotation because it's stressing you out and you really wanna just get to the next easier rotation, whatever that may be. Um, but it, you're also losing and speeding past a lot of the important lessons. The thing about medical school that really separates you as a, from a, like a pre-med that's in college is that sometimes your patients may actually rely on the knowledge that you're learning in your classes today. You may be learning something in lecture that you zoned out for and a patient in the future may require you to know that info. So that makes it a lot more uh, pressing and important to actually pay attention. So look at everything as a lesson. Use your lectures as actual lessons. They're gonna be things that your patients are gonna rely on you for. But also if you are on, for example, your rotations, look at every patient encounter, every interaction with your residents and attendings, your pros and cons and how well you do with your patient report. Be able to reflect back on those and look at each thing as a lesson. Because if you look at everything as a lesson, then you know that there's something of value that each day, each obstacle can give you. That way, when you move on to the next step, everything becomes a little bit easier because you went through the hard part of being able to analyze it earlier. We actually do this when we're studying for a test, right? We're always told that when you go through a test that you take for the MCAT or step one, whatever it may be, make sure you read the explanations for your right answers and wrong answers, because that way we don't get those uh, and make those same mistakes later on. It's the same concept in everything else in medicine as well. So make sure you look at everything as a lesson because then you have a lot more rich experiences during your four years that you can reflect back on versus looking at everything as just another hurdle to get to the next step. Number two, and I feel like everyone kind of wants permission to do this or just wants to hear that's okay, which is don't be a 24 seven medical student. I love to have what I call like a checkout or a clock out time every single day. So for me, that's usually like seven o'clock. I'm done being a medical student. Whatever that time is for you based off of your schedule, make sure there are times of your life where you're not like John the medical student, but you're John the person that likes to play basketball or go work out or read a book or whatever it may be. Um, but make sure there's parts in your life where you can be that person that's you without medicine being att attributed to it. So don't be a 24 seven medical student, especially if you have a significant other, um, if you have family in the area, whatever it may be, if you have kids, make sure you have time for them. So when you're scheduling your week, you're scheduling your day, um, make sure that there's times where you literally say like, I'm done being a medical student, chill time, whatever it may be. Um, if you don't schedule your day and you want more insight on how to do that more productively uh, as a medical student, then check out this link down below um, where I talk about how I schedule my day and you guys can get some ex examples and inspirations. And finally, number three guys, is you need to make sure you focus on your progress. I hit this on a lot of my videos, but I wanna make sure this is the first video you watch or the last video you watch on my channel, you understand this concept, which is focus on your abundance and not your deficiencies. In medicine, we are always comparing ourselves to others. We are always looking at 
everything that we do wrong. We always understand that our grades aren't as good as that person over there. Maybe they have more info than uh, we do. Uh, maybe they are better at interacting with patients, whatever it may be. Uh, but we're always comparing ourselves and we're finding and identifying our shortcomings. Um, and more often than not, it is going to be a downfall for you. So focus on your abundance and not your deficiencies. That's why if you go back to my first tip, if you use everything as a lesson, you'll be able to be critical, but in a good sense. How can I improve from um, some of your weaknesses, some of the things that don't go well on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, if you make everything a lesson, then you can focus on progress and you can make sure that you have more things of abundance. Day in and day out, if I compare myself to who I was four years, I am happy with the progress because I made sure that I was critical in the short term, but in the long term, I'm happy with what I've been able to do. I'm not comparing my applications at this time when I'm applying to residency to other people. Whatever I've done, I feel comfortable with and I feel proud of. So to get to that point, you need to look at everything in a progressive mindset. Um, look at everything as a lesson and then worry about just making progress a day in and day out every week. Try to become a little bit smarter on your rotations, a little bit better in your classes, a little bit more prepared, more productive. Make that uh, goal, whatever it may be for you, but try to be better every single day. Once you get through four years of medical school, guys, you'll understand that you didn't just survive. You were thriving the whole time. You looked at everything as a lesson. You weren't a medical school student the whole time, which is usually some of the, the biggest reasons for burnout is we try to trap ourselves in a 24-7 schedule. And then finally, you're improving every single day because you're making that a priority. If you do that day in and day out, guys, I will promise you at the end of four years, you'll be able to look at your experience and understand I did it right, I've enjoyed it, and I'm happy with the end result. Um, so if you enjoyed these tips, let me know. Comment below what's one thing that helps you kind of get out of that survival mode. And if you're in that survival mode, comment below and also tell me, like, what do you feel is the thing about medical school that is forcing you to always kind of be in that mode? Is it your test? Is it your um, productivity um, kind of being overwhelmed by the material? Whatever it may be, comment below. Um, most of my subscribers know if you're subscribed and you comment below, you're entered um, for my uh drawings for my books and my courses for free. So make sure you are part of the community and you let me know uh, what you think. But if you did enjoy this video, guys, and you want more content like this, first of all, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out video on a weekly basis, um, more tips like this about medical school. So, and check out the rest of the channel to get more tips on studying, time management, whatever it may be. Uh, but um, I will link some of the videos I've referred to down below, which is kind of how to schedule your day is going to be one of the most important ones I posted. So make sure you guys check that below. Um, and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.